Hello Silverpunks, today I'm going to show you the process how we do our toning, how we antique things up, how we get them to this colour from, from raw out the furnace. When I come raw out the furnace, the light, as you can see, they're this quite shiny colour, really shiny. So I'm going to show you the processes that we use at Silverpunks. Might not be, you know, the 100% the same way that you've seen before. Lots of people do do it our way, but I'm sure there is other ways of doing it. But today I'm going to show you our process of how we tone up our silver items using the liver of sulfur method. So let's crack on, let's get into it. I'm going to get these toned up to a nice colour. So what I've got here, really hot water in both, that's going to be the cleaning one. This is going to be for doing the toning. So in the cleaning one, I'm going to put some more cherry blossom liquid. We're just washing up liquid, a couple of drops. There you go. And also, a bit of baking powder now again I'm not sure what this does but I've seen it online and it stops the reaction of what we're going to be doing it will stop the toning so a little bit of that in there Get a bit of a stir there so it's all soapy so that's where we'll be putting the pieces once we've toned them now to actually do the toning we're going to be using a thing called liver of sulfur which is this comes in this little bottle, liver of sulfur. Now it smells absolutely terrible, like rotten eggs. So we're gonna put a couple of drops, one, two, three, four, in there like that. Let's close that up. Um, as I say, it does, does sulfur the clues in the name, isn't it? It does smell. Um, so it's just one of those. So I'm just giving it a stir up. There you go, so we're going to dip them in there and then plop them in there to stop the process. So, the first one we're going to do, just lower it in, put it on the spoon. We've got the little skull, so pop him in. I think you can see, I'll do one at a time for you. So it's starting to go, it's going a yellowy, yellowy gold colour, which that's quite nice actually. Well, right, see, you can see it's starting to go now. It's starting to go quite, quite toned. And obviously, you've got different levels of, but I want them to go pretty dark. And then we're going to polish them back so we can get the details we want. That's quite nice rainbow coloured, if you see. Give it a little bit more. Nice iridescent finish. There you see, he's gone, gone pretty dark now, so that'll be cool. So we just pop him in there now. Hopefully that side will stop it and this goes, we'll, we'll colour it. So we'll do the next one. As you can see, just starting to go. And while we've got him on, we'll, we'll do this one as well. We'll have a couple going at once. So we'll pop him in first Einstein. So we'll have a couple going at once. but looking forward to see how his face comes out if we get the lines and what have you that's quite a nice nice color but we're, again I want it dark so I can polish it back Einstein, how's Einstein getting up? Very nice blue iridescent colour. I really like them. Like, I'd, I'd prefer them toned up like this rather than just completely shiny, shiny. But I suppose each to their own. If you've got a piece of silver, sometimes you want it to look like silver. There you go, he's gone quite dark, look as you see. So pop him in there. And then the last one. And he goes. Could have a little bit more water, it's not covering it all. Just tip it up a bit, that's it, so it's all covered at the same time, so we get the same effect all over. And it's very trial and error, this is all obviously you get a different tone in the different times you leave it in, and also um, I've been experimenting, I think you need to experiment with the actual heat of the water, I think the hotter the water the quicker the reaction. So you have, have the water quite, and obviously 
it depends how much of the liver of sulfur drops you put in. I've only put a few in. But obviously if you put more in it, it would be more potent. Let's have a look at it. There you go. Let's give him one last dosing over. Let's get him out now. It's done its job. So I'll plop him in there. So what I'll do now, I'll just go and get rid of this because the smell is really doing my head in now. And I'll come back and I'll show you the results. So I'll get rid of these, take them out of there and I'll show you. Well actually, just quickly, you can see. All nicely toned now. I've got rid of the um, the toning solution and the and the clean up solution. And uh, this is what we've got, as you can see. Quite nice colours to them. Stand them up like that. I think you're getting them, aren't you? As you can see, quite nice colours to them. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get some good, good, good toning. Some good, well, just a nice look. I'm, I'm a bit lost for words. I'm trying to explain. Just, just a nice look to them. I wanted to get all the dark areas dark. Then obviously the, the lighter areas light. So we've toned them all these colours. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use a silly, um, some. Cinechrome polish just on a little bit of sponge. I'm just going to wipe over and then we'll give them a buff up and we'll see what kind of effects we can get now You can use other silver polish if you wish I mean Silvo, Goddard, there's loads of different brands and what have you but I've just I've just got some of this Kicking about so as you can see I'm not sure if you can see this on camera. It's just taking the top Top layers now the secret is not too hard Just a light push As you see you're getting rid of some of that toning, it's leaving like a nice antique finish, like a grey colour to it, like an aged patina look. What we're going for. If you, if you look on the back, it's still quite iridescent, petrol coloured, so let's give it a bit more of a harder rub on the back. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. But there you go. There you go. Now let's give this a bit of a buff now. I'm trying to keep the cloth just rubbing it over. I just don't go in the deeper areas. Just, just so I'm highlighting the, the highlights are going to get sh shone up so it goes a bit shinier. There we go, that's what we're looking for. That's the effect, give the back a bit of a rub. Yeah, there we go, we get in there. So there's number one, we'll give them all a quick another polish after, but again, just the same process again, just on the sponge. Because using the sponge, I found it gives, it doesn't go into the, the nooks and crannies, it just polishes over and it leaves those dark, what we want, so that's the best way I've found of doing it so far. I've tried a toothbrush, but that kind of gets in too much. I mean, you want to get a little bit in, but that's it. take some time but this is a where you want to take the time to get a nice finish a nice look what you want on the product makes a bit of a mess as you can see that's because my sponge is starting to disintegrate but it's doing a job there you go silver punk pour number two Looking okay. Right now, so let's try Albert. A bit more difficult because there's more raised, more lines and raised areas with him. time maybe pushing a bit harder there we 
you can see it's coming out well, the lines on his face and the it just brings out the details a lot more than just having it plain in silver or plain toned. It just gives you a bit of contrast and you can see more of the work that's gone into it, into the pour and, and in the 3D model. As you can see the back still quite toned so let's give that a good rub. Still got his little birthmarks there, the little dimples, I didn't sand them off. You know, if that's how the silver wants to call, that's how the silver calls. You know, we let it happen, that's it, you know, its own birthmark as it were. And that's how it's meant to be. Last one. Yeah, pleased with him coming out well. You can see it takes a bit of time but it's well worth the effort. You just gotta be careful not to take too much off because it defeats the object of the whole toning. You just gotta get it just right. Right, I'll just get this out of the way in the sponge. Just give that a little wipe. Right, dust out the way. Now I think we just need a bit of a rub. So there you go punks, that's how we do the toning here at Silver Punks. So if you found this useful, please do like and subscribe as there'll be a lot more how-to videos coming very soon. Cheers.